This is the marketing page that you're able to edit if you wanted to swap it out for an additional solution. If you wanted to change acne to hair, all you would do is click acne once and then double click and then swap that out for hair. For these, they're all the same in the way that they're edited. So all you would do to edit this is click once and then double click and then type in the new area of concern. For right here, to add or remove a product, all you would do is click once, double click the product that you would like to remove and highlight it, and then just click delete and you see it's removed. Or if you would like to add a new product, all you would do is click on the space below the last product you see and then click enter and then type new product. On this page, there is a chart that's already built. So all you would have to do if you wanted to swap any of these out is just click it, double click it, and then type in the new information. If you needed to add or remove a row or a column, all you would do is click the last one that you see right here and then go over to layout and then go right over to where it says insert below. Then you would just type in the new info. If you needed to remove a row or a column, all you would do is click and then go over to layout again, go over to delete and click delete row. As you see, it was just removed. For down here, it functions in pretty much the same way. If you would like to change emulsifier to something else, all you have to do is just click it once, then double click and then change it to whatever is new. Same for right here. You just click this, double click to highlight it and change. If it doesn't align perfectly, all you have to do is click it, take this little box and drag it a little bit. Same for right here. If you would like to change this, just click it, highlight what you would like to remove and write the new info. You can do this for this section as well. So you wanted to change out this banner right here. All you would do is save your images to a folder. For example, I have mine saved in photos for PowerPoint. You can save them wherever you'd like. So just open this up, click the image that you would like to drag, click it, just drag it right over. And then as you can see, it's a little bit bigger. So all we'll do is click the image, go up here to crop, click crop, and then size it to the exact image of the banner that you would like it to fit at. So we'll do right like that. Click over here to the side, click the remaining image, click delete, click this image and just drag it up like that and then we will click the image right click it find where it says send to back and then click send to back then as you can see everything is formatted perfectly with the logo with responsible beauty and with the new banner to change out an image like this all you would do is basically the same exact thing you would open up where your photos are pick the photo that you would like drag it onto the screen then you would just click the photo come up here to these three little images click the down arrow find this specific shape it says soft edge oval click that double click the image come over here to crop click crop move this so that it pretty much looks like a circle as you can see right like that take the image and drag it however you want it to appear within the circle so so as you see, this is what will be displayed. What's grayed out will not. So then we'll click over here just to make it go away. Click, there you have your new image. You click it once and then just resize it to the size that you would like it to replace this one. Click the old image, click delete, click the new image, drag it over and there it is. And then you can follow those steps with all of these images. In order to make a product go to another sheet, like this sheet, for example, what you'll want to do is make sure the PowerPoint presentation has all of your materials that you need right below here. So for example, this is the only product that we're going to link to today. So this is the info sheet for this specific product. So what we would do is we would go up here to the original sheet, find that specific product. So it's right here, double click it, right click it, click hyperlink, go up to where it says this document, click that, send to slide titles, click the down arrow, and send it to the exact slide that you wanna send it to. So for example, we would like to send it to slide four. Click okay, and then you have it hyperlinked, it will send you directly to this page. Okay, now to just test this out, we'll just export it really quick. We go to file, export as a PDF, we'll name this test, now, if we go down to where we hyperlinked, we can click that. And as you see, it takes you right to that page. This is what you're gonna wanna send to customers. You're gonna wanna send the PDF, not the PowerPoint presentation because these are much smaller files.